Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Kingdom, Two Crowns. So, I have spent a fair amount playing this game, and it is, it is a fantastic game. Um, but uh, we're going to start with just kind of the normal game, and then we'll kind of explore the Norsemen, or Northlands, the Shogun, and Dread, or Deadlands. <clears throat> but uh, let's go ahead and bump it up to hard. Um, I haven't played it since the difficulties uh, have been added, so... This should be interesting, so let's uh, pop in. The game is very simple, where you basically have your space bar and your left, right, up, down commands to use, and that's really about it. Okay. Oh, actually, so we're supposed to follow this guy to get to the camp and start the game. However, oh, that's been changed. Okay, <coughs> never mind. Uh, before whatever update that is, you could run far to the left and pick up some things before getting to your actual uh, campsite. Stop eating some grass. Yeah, I know. Fucking spooky ghost man in an apron. Alright, coins we use to build things. It'll tell us how much it costs right above it, so it's three coins there. We need to give our uh, vagrants coins in order for them to become, I guess, citizens or peasants. And then we purchase various utensils for them to use and um, basically level up. Oh my god. I wish I could skip this tutorial. I thought you could, but I guess it's not going to let me do it now. fucking already gave the coin to the other asshole. Go away, ghost. <sighs> Eat some grass, we need a little stamina boost. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Now fuck off, you fucking ghost. Let's take that. Actually, chop the bees down. So, I'm gonna try and... beat all the islands. Well, I mean, the goal is to conquer all islands. Um, without... Or, my goal is to conquer all the islands without losing a monarch. Which, if you lose your monarch, it's not the end of the game, but you essentially continue on as their descendant with more or less decay happening with your kingdom. Okay, I think it's still early morning, so I think we're fine. But each island has certain unique bits about it. Um... And then you can also unlock more neat things later. Uh, my goal right now is I want to get all of the chests that contain coins on this island, because that'll boost you <clears throat> very quickly, or advance you much, advance you quickly through the game, or at least through this particular island. Vagrant Camp. We want as many of these nerds as possible, because they are certainly important. I think that's the arrow statue, uh, which that requires a resource other than coins. Which we currently don't have. Also, I am certainly nervous of how far out we are, but this is what I was looking for. I think we're good to head back now. there for when another vagrant pops out. Actually, no, I'm not going to drop a coin there, because I think it'll be too late. Well, no, fuck it, let's leave a coin. Also, the mount that we have right now, the horse, is, well, it's got pretty short stamina. Also, unfortunately, that while it is in forest land, it is slow. 
so not good. But I mean, what do you expect? It's the first mount. Getting towards later in the day, that's not very good. Let's eat some grass that gives you a stamina boost, which we're going to need. And it is also pretty darn important to get through the island quickly. The seasons will change, and it will become much more difficult to maintain your um, economy later. Get out of you fucking deers. Hopefully the three archers were able to hold off whatever attack is happening. the merchant. He is only available on the earlier islands. Kind of as a fail-safe to make sure you don't put yourself in a situation to get absolutely hosed. I didn't even realize I didn't put a wall to put up a wall here. Okay. There's two vagrants there. These are masters. Uh, little huts. They can do turn buildings into kind of unique situations. Where's the fucking... There's the boat. Perfect. We want to get this worked on ASAP. So this is what allows us to go to the next island. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. That is a mount. Probably one of the best mounts. If not the best mount. That is the last chest on this island. Yes. This is the wall. Because each of the islands... Each of the islands will have a, a dock, as well as kind of a, a stone wall. Uh, they serve... Each, use, each serves a unique purpose, but nothing we really care about just yet. want to do is build a couple more builders and get that boat moving. Which that builder has not started working on that yet. Hunters are super important to get at the beginning because they're kind of like your primary source of income. They hunt wild game and critters. One of those up, where's the merchant? Sent him on his merry way. That should be enough there. Chop this bad boy down. Yeah, the archer is super handy to have, for sure. I think that's enough coins. I think we have enough archers. We just need to get the goddamn boat built. It's kind of hard to tell what time of day it is right now. Dang, son. night. Wait, what the fuck did he just steal?
Oh, you stole a piece of the boat. That's a new thing. Oh, and you dinguses. Build that fucking boat. Also, that also informs me that the raid has already happened for this evening, so I can safely run around. Because generally attacks only happen at night, unless in special circumstances. And then once they send them out, that's it. They don't... You don't need to worry about them sending out like a secret attack later. Any money for me? No. super far on the side, so now I'm not going to run all the way over there for it. Take way too long. Perfect. Let's get deer into the archers. He's doing his thing. Go away, dears. I think. Since this is Island 1, this is. There we go. Perfect. Uh, my little minions will run over and start populating it. How many coins do I have? Pretty good amount. It's a vagrant camp. Should be two people here, because I don't think I've. I guess there's only one. Anywho. Wait here to make certain that the builders are able to get to the boat before the greed come out at night. The little enemies are called greed. Ring the bell. That'll tell everybody to get onto the boat. I mean, not everybody, but there's a certain number of workers that'll hop onto the boat. Which also, since they're on the boat, they will fire enemies when they get close, so you can actually tell people to hop onto the boat to create kind of a, a tower out in the middle of nowhere without having... Damn, son. I think that is plenty. Let's mosey to the next island. So we did that in three days. Awesome. That is some good time. Alright. We just press down and go to the next island. I want to say that there are... S At least last time I played the game, there were six islands, I believe. And you see little silhouettes on the island? Those are kind of the unique and hidden things that are on the island. So this one has the mount in the top right corner, the statue top left, and then the master... whatever they're called, in the bottom right. So this will be the next island. This has several neat things into it. Um, which we have to go the, to the islands... Uh, Sequentially, so island one, island two. We can go back to this island. Um, we can go back to any island, but there is some issues with it. So let's hop to this island. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna run to camp. 
hopefully not drop any coins while I'm running. Trees already. I two vagrants. This builds. Some archers working here. Start chopping out these trees as well. I need to explore because I need to find a vagrant camp. Vagrants are very, very, very important. Um, because that's really how you just expand your ability to defend yourself and do stuff like. Because you can, because they become either builders or archers or other types of critters. You can kill the deer. Somebody kill the fucking deer. Where does Vagar come from? All right. Uh, cut that tree down. Cut that tree down. Probably gonna make another builder because I need to start expanding quickly because we're not gonna stay on this island very long. Archers are paramount just because they generate income as well as defend your stronghold. Just like the other islands, I do believe there are chests here. Um, however, I believe they do contain more than just coins, which we will see what that is eventually. Do you have money? Yes. Can I send you? I can. And we're playing on the hard difficulty, so... Alright, is there a vagrant in the camp? No, not yet. by the time those builders start working on those fucking trees. Unless the greed attack is coming from the other side. Which, that's my suspicion at this point. Nope! Take your coin and fuck off. Now that that's going on, we're going to run... I we're going to get like, the boost, though. We're going to run as far as we can to the right. Drop a coin here for when that vagrant spawns. Let's see if we can find any chests. Here we go. This is one of the unique chests. It drops crystals. This, these are used to activate certain things. Uh, yes, we do want that activated. So, that is the farmer's, or harvest statue. Once we have access to farmers, that'll greatly increase their, kind of the return on the investment with that particular building. Oh, I please, we have enough. This upgrades our technology to stone, so we can work with stone. Which is part of the reason you want to rush to this island. Because stone technology makes a very big difference in the strength of your walls. And look at this little guy. I now have a dog. We'll call him Frank. Uh, but upgrading your, your technology level greatly increases your ability to survive. Just bullshit. Okay. Still a little concerned. 
concerning because we are getting very far out of the fucking wilderness here. Or I think we'll be okay since we did leave, like, pretty much in the middle of the night. Okay, we need to go. That is a portal for greed to come out of. It doesn't, um, like, you can walk through it and not be harmed, but you don't want to be near it when it's spawning greed. That will be deadly. And they can steal my dog, and I don't want them to steal my dog. Me and Frank, we have lots of ventures to go on. I will say this horse is you know, running for some time. All right, there's the completed stone mine. So the dog does bark, I believe, in the direction of where the greed's going to come from, or at least predominantly where they're going to come from. So he's nice to have. But... Not a critical thing to... Like, not a game over if you get stolen. And you can't get it back later. Okay. Oh, he eats brass. Yep, greed's coming from this direction. And most likely stole that coin I set down. Which kind of sucks. There's the merc shop. The merchant. Flatlands, and that's where the, the little, you know, like garments are spawning, where you get a lot of your income in the early game. Start working on the fucking boat. So this is another island we really want to, like, hustle through. Right, so there's a green portal right there, but it's right in the middle of the day, so not going to activate. Or at least it's not a threat at this point. If you hover around them too long, it can provoke the greed to come out early. But we shouldn't have a problem just zipping right by it. This is for another mount that I don't really care to get at this point. Oh my god, there's three big more fucking crystals. Crystals can be kind of frustrating because they do take up a lot of space in your pouch. Okay, and we've reached the end of the line. You know, I usually don't do this, but I am going to swap over to the, the mount that's available over here. Um, mounts do have their strengths and weaknesses. This particular one is the deer, or the stag, or whatever you want to call it. It's little quirk. It's pretty cheap, too. It's quirk is, is that it moves much, much faster in the woods. However, when it's not in the woods, it does slow down a fair amount. Get some grass. Um, I think it's going to be more beneficial right now since I'm going to be spending a lot of time just zipping around in the woods. It can also charm the deer or does so that they follow you back to your archers and get just you know, spanked there. Oh, yeah, I will take any money you can earn. Perfect. 
spawn and send you off to whatever the fuck it is you do. I feel like our merchant's just a meth vendor. He goes to his little shack in the middle of the woods and brews up some fucking, you know... Or I guess brew, not brew. He cooks up some, uh, some of the good stuff. Okay. So I think we're going to be here for about maybe one more day. how the builders take their sweet fucking time getting back. Because that can cause some serious issues. Uh, there. Alright, perfect. There's a break in the forest over here. Also, um, it takes more and more coins to go to the to go further and further into the islands. Right now I'm fucking broke as a joke. That should open up a lot of this land for varmint hunting, so that these archers should be making way more money soon. Get some money from the merchant. Start him on his way. where you can start a farm, but I have not built up the main building enough to allow that. Because I don't plan on being here very long. Which I may as well throw some coins at it now since I'm just quite heavy. We have a tent.
point's not going to stay in, in the water with you. Time to hustle. Alright, good. We're making great progress. Still mine, I got the stag. I don't think there's anything else I want on this particular island. At least at this time. Give me the money. Oh, I'll upgrade that too. Eat some grass. Stone foundation right there, which that's where we can build the tower, which towers are super. But I don't think we ain't got, I don't think we're gonna have time for that because I might just dip out right the frick now. Why do you guys push this fucking thing so slow? so that my archers can shoot these deer and we'll get kind of a, a little bit of a boost to our next island visit. It's two archers. Four archers. Alright, and off we go to the next island. And I am actually going to make the cut here. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.